But there's just such a sense of hopelessness in so many of our communities because all we've given them is violence. All they've ever known is violence. So they can't see anything beyond that. So I think a lot of our work has to do with just inspiring a sense of hope and, and having these kids be able to see something different, an alternative, and be able to see the possibilities of what they can do with their lives and what they can do in their communities. Um, because if you don't have that vision of what you're trying to work towards, it's real easy to get caught up in the violence and, and to just end up with that sense of hopelessness. How can you tell the difference between acting nonviolence and being passive? Being passive is like you see something happening. Like everyone's saying they see fights, everyone's crowding around, but they don't do anything. That's being passive because they're just watching. They're not doing nothing to help it. They're just looking at it happen. You know, active nonviolence, you want to do something about it in a nonviolent way. You know, like you're not just sitting there watching, oh, they're getting beat up. No, you're going to the further step to make sure that that doesn't happen in your community again. I mean, that was one of the most beautiful pieces of the civil rights movement that the youth were looked upon to lead. Now they're looked upon as criminals. Just, just because the way they dress, just because of the way they talk, the way they act. And they really only inherited what we gave to them. And we're criticizing them for not able to create the beloved community overnight. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's truly unfair, the expectations we're having for these youth without providing the resources. There's no jobs, there's no co-curricular activities in schools any longer. And you're asking them to, to soar like an eagle. They, they need the wind. We need to provide them the avenue to get to those heights. Positive peace is a peace that's a, a, attained through justice for all people, right? Like, there's a lot of violence in the streets of Oakland where I live, and a lot of that violence, <laughs> it's young people who are involved in it, both on the giving end and the receiving end. So if we lock up all the young people in Oakland, would we have peace? No. There'd be less violence in the streets, though, right? But that quote-unquote peace would come at the expense of all the young people that we're locking up. And that's a lot of how we try to attain peace in our society, just by locking people up and locking people up and murdering the murderers, hoping that that would create a sense of peace, when really all that's doing is creating a negative peace. And Dr. King fought hard against that concept of negative peace. Divide and conquer, self-destruction of a monster. The cops who try to make us seem like we're the problem. The new Jim Crow laws create teenage problems. As long as they start us off as kids, we'll always be the bottom. I'm mad. My heart is hard and my people out here are starving. We're angry, won't get involved in what's right. Resource the violence, afraid to lose our lives and fight for black pride. We're trapped in this chain of school to prison pop lines. Television that violence was only used to hypnotize the consciousness of our mind. Mills will freeze us these lives, manipulating our lives. Now children are steady dying. Families are steady crying. Paint the picture now. Imagine it was your brother or sister. Damn, I'm holding hands with you. I don't know if you realize we are falling to the system, become a victim to the chain reaction. I wish we weren't living like paint we're pillin'. Comes together as one. We need to stop killing. And our word that we pick with violence is power over any being. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. We can only get back what we invest in. And if we're not willing to put the resources into it, we expect our kids to become mathematicians, English majors, scientists, engineers. We give them those skills. We're not giving them the skills to transform their conflict that they're guaranteed to experience as soon as they walk out the door today. Let's provide them what they need so that they can, and they will, take it to heights that we never thought they would. Well, if you learn now and you practice it like these workshops are doing, you're practicing and practicing, and it's gonna become a habit. And you're gonna, you know, that's gonna be your first resort to when you get confronted with something. That's gonna be your first resort, nonviolence. Right, resource the violence, afraid to lose our lives and fight for black pride. We're trapped in this chain of score to prison pop lines. Television that vibes was only used to hypnotize the consciousness of our lives. Music feeds us these lies, manipulating our lives. Our children are steady dying, families are steady crying. Paint the picture, now imagine what's your brother or sister. Damn, I'm holding hands with you. I don't know if you realize we have fallen to the system, become a victim to the chain reaction. I wish we were living like pink were pillin'. Come together as one, we should stop killing. Hearts in pain, it's a strain. Time lives the same, all same, everything. I'm so confused.